What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. Just talking about Scream 6 mostly in this video today. But before I get into Scream 6, I wanted to share my thoughts on the small tidbit update that we got on Nightmare on Elm Street and Mike Flanagan's constant, not constant, but once again, referencing this pitch that I know he's kind of talked about since 2019. I've yet to see anything concrete as to what this pitch is exactly, but I've always been intrigued to see what Mike Flanagan could do with A Nightmare on Elm Street. So he touched on this idea of his once more without going into any real specifics, but mostly, mostly sharing his doubts on why he doesn't think the pitch will ever happen. In a recent sit down with the Script, Script Apart podcast, he said, one of the franchises on my list forever has been A Nightmare on Elm Street. Boy, that would be boy, that would be fun. I have a whole take for it that it worked out a couple of years ago, and my understanding is the right situation for that title is so fraught. No one knows who controls it really, and no one knows who to pitch. So I keep saying to my agent, send me in on Nightmare on Elm Street, and they're like, we'd love to, but we have no idea who we sh who you should talk to. And I've and I've talked to, I spent almost a year of my life with Heather Langenkamp, and we would talk about it. It's like nobody knows what to do. Now, here's my thing there. This is very frustrating as someone who has seen what he was able to do with the Shining universe and having complete confidence and trusting that he would be able to do complete magic in the Nightmare on Elm Street universe. I have complete faith in Mike Flanagan being a capable person to take on this IP and breathe new life into it with a brand new person, yes, in the makeup for Freddy Krueger, not bringing back Robert Englund. If you want to bring back Robert Englund, I'm sure he'd find a way to make it work as well. But I've yet to see any specifics about what that pitch could do. As far as his interest in this, I've been seeing this interest from him since 2019 when it was first reported that the Craven Estate were open to taking pitches for a new movie or even a TV show, I think it was. He quote tweeted the article back in 2019 saying that, uh, send me in coach, I have a pitch or something like that is what I recall. So to see that he still is not having any luck with this, and of course knowing that Freddy Krueger just isn't having any luck for a lot of Nightmare on Elm Street fans like myself, it is a bit frustrating to know that Jason Voorhees is coming back before Freddy Krueger. But you guys can let me know in the comment section down below what you think this ultimate pitch could be from Mike Flanagan. I'm so certain he will dive into it in depth at some point assuming he never is going to be able to do it because he's pretty much locked in for the foreseeable future with this new deal he just inked with amazon i believe so that might have him tied in to a lot of projects that keep him away from a potential nightmare on elm street project if that series ever finds its way back to the big screen because it seems like it's just dead right now unfortunately and it's something that i want to see revived so badly because we've had all these other series revived, I would love to see Nightmare on Elm Street get in on this and see a very unique take on it from a very smart person or very smart and creative horror filmmaker who we know Mike Flanagan is. He's very good at balancing horror, romance, and drama. So I would love to see what he does with Nightmare on Elm Street. But just to jump into Scream 6. Now the Scream 6 experience is going on in New York and I know 3C Films is out there got a chance to check that out some other people have checked it out and shared images of it over on social media now one of the best images that came out so far was definitely this because as you can see this is the billy loomis prop that is related to the shrine because that experience has a recreation of the shrine that we're going to see in scream six and what's interesting about this billy prop is that his robe includes the aged mask now the aged mask that's here is very similar to the one that we've been seeing on screen. Now, of course, logically, everybody was already assuming that this was Billy's mask. But of course, some people were assuming it might be someone else's mask. So given how this is about his daughter now, that's why it was safe to assume that this was Billy's mask. So it's nice to see that this experience is more or less confirming that this is Billy's mask that we've been seeing. Now, that lets us know that somebody stole Billy's mask and here's the other thing. Remember, the other robes that we see, the masks are also missing off of those robes. When Sam goes to approach those robes in that shrine sequence we've been seeing in the TV spots and in the trailers, the masks are gone, even the age mask, because now we know, of course, that it is officially Billy's and the killer is wearing Billy's mask. But where are the other masks? Here's the thing. If we were safe in assuming that they were wearing Billy's mask, then you should also be safe in assuming that they stole the other mask and those other masks are going to appear at some point. Because here's the other thing. This image that you see here on your screen is, is circulating online from another TV spot that seems to highlight somebody else wearing another aged mask. So 
that seems to confirm again they have other masks and these other masks are going to factor in at some point in the narrative how they get factored into the narrative you'll have to wait and see but i'm pretty sure it's going to be used in a very clever way uh whose mask this could be being worn by this individual here i'm going to speculate and say maybe this is roman's mask i mean it, it seems pretty aged not that the other ones couldn't be aged too like jill jill and charlie's mask but i'm going to speculate that this might be roman's mask that this individual is wearing so we'll see what happens when it comes down to these masks but it was nice to see that image from the scream experience and get it confirmed wholeheartedly that yes the mask that we've been seeing is billy's and that the killers are taunting sam by wearing billy's mask obviously there's definitely going to be a goal to frame her once again if you're doing that and why did they steal these masks why did they steal billy's mask why did they steal the other mask why did they steal these robes because keep in mind viewer non has let it be known that these are not replicas maybe some of the things in that shrine are replicas but a lot of it might just be stolen evidence and props from the stab movies that were also classified as evidence given the events of what went on in scream 3 per per se and because a lot of the stuff that was going on in scream 3 not a lot of it but you know people were dying on the set of stab 3 so a lot of that stuff could be seen as evidence and maybe this is from the stab 3 set a lot of this stuff could be from the staff through set and not just complete replicas but we at least know that the mask and the costumes are not replicas so why did they steal it what is their goal with stealing this stuff who did they steal the stuff for because it wasn't for sam so who did they steal it for these are the very important questions that you should be asking going into scream six and hopefully the answers that you get are something that you at least can say well maybe i wasn't the most happy about it but it at least was in line with the story being told and it made sense in context of everything unfolding on screen which is what really matters at the end of the day but hopefully of course as well you enjoyed and it is something that shocks you to no end but again you guys can let me know what you think about all of this down in the comment section below why do you think the masks were stolen who do you think the masks were stolen for what other masks do you think are going to appear in the movie and how do you think they will appear in the movie? Will they appear at crime scenes? Will they appear in some other capacity? Because it seems as though the aged mask of Billy's isn't the only one that the killers will be wearing. As you can clearly see in a new TV spot, one of the other killers seems to be wearing a different aged mask. That could be, again, Romans. Let me know what you think about it all down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, you can go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to all my social media accounts. I am on Facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video